All right, so this is uh, the process of solving equations that have higher degree polynomials. And now, most of these are going to be of quadratic type. And what of quadratic type means that it's highest power. of its variable is going to be twice the power of the other variable. Okay, so if you have an equation that looks like the following, so here's a higher degree polynomial, but when you look at this, is this of quadratic type? Is the highest power for double the other power? Yeah, and if, if you find that you have an equation of quadratic type, what you're going to do is you're going to use U substitution. Okay. And what U substitution means is you're going to let U equal the smaller powers. variable. Okay, so when you're looking at this, the smaller power is this variable, x squared. So what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to let u equal x squared. And if that's the case, then x to the fourth, what would we have to do to x squared to get to x to the fourth? Square both sides. So x to the fourth is equal to u squared. Okay? So you're going to use this kind of line of reasoning here to substitute in u's instead of the x's. So here in this particular case, if you go through the steps for solving this, the first step is to recognize quadratic type. Okay? When you recognize quadratic type, you're then going to use u substitution. Okay, so here we see that we have quadratic type, so we can substitute in u squared minus 2u minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, and then we're going to solve for u. Okay, so in this particular case, we treat it as a quadratic now because it is of quadratic type. So we can use any of the methods that we've done for quadratics. And we're going to get u. Are there two factors of negative 8 whose sum is negative 2? Negative 4 and positive 2. So our two values for u, u is equal to 4, or u is equal to negative 2. Okay, once we solve for u, what you're then going to do is you're going to plug in your original value for, <coughs> for u. and you're going to solve for the resulting x, right? or whatever variable they used. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this x squared, substitute that in for u in each of these cases, and solve the remaining values. So x squared equals 4. Here we can extract the square root. x is equal to plus or minus 2. And here, can x squared equal a negative number? No, so I don't even need to worry about that. I see that it's going to be an extraneous number. Okay, so all I have to do is I'm still going to test my uh, solutions. Okay, but if I plug those back in, uh, we'll start with 2. 2 to the 4th is 16. Is 16 minus 2 times 4 minus another 8? Is that all equal to 0? 16 minus 8 minus 8 is, so that works. What about negative 2? Is that going to change these values at all? No, so positive and negative 2 both work. Those would be your only solutions there. <coughs>